I'm Scott Maxwell, I'm a Mars rover driver, and this is your Curiosity Update. Through careful targeting, we've been able to shrink the landing ellipse for Curiosity, and we've been able to move it closer to where we want to actually land. In case we land in dunes that are like this on Mars, near the landing site, we want to be sure that the real rover is able to navigate around successfully in those dunes and get from the point where we landed to the point where we really want to be. So we've come out here today with the Curiosity Scarecrow rover, which is the same weight on Earth as the real rover is on Mars, to practice driving it around in uh, the nearest thing to those dunes on Mars that we're going to find here on Earth. This is uh, similar material and similar slopes to the dunes that we're going to find in Mars. So being able to test this rover in these dunes gives us a good idea about what the performance of the real rover is going to be in the dunes that we might land in on Mars. Still making progress. The performance on this rover is actually fairly similar to Spirit and Opportunity. A little bit better, we can climb in soft sand up to about 15 degrees or so, which is a little better than Spirit and Opportunity will do. We are in fact right now maneuvering it from an area of about 15 degrees of tilt to an area of about 25 degrees of tilt to try to explore where that break is in its performance. Well, our top speed is very slow, um, but our acceleration of that top speed is pretty much instantaneous. So, uh, so we go from a dead stop to right about as fast as we're going to go uh, pretty quickly. It's really fun to like every once in a while kind of leave the office environment behind and come out to an environment like this and see what the real rovers are going to be doing on Mars. It's, it kind of connects you to it and reminds you that, uh, that the computer models that we play in are a far cry from reality. This is that reality. I'm Scott Maxwell and this has been your Curiosity Update.